Okay, morning. Um, haven't made my bed yet. Haven't even opened the blinds in my room. Loki's in his kennel because I'm about to leave to run my errands. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing black leggings with some high socks and these white shoes. And then I'm wearing the little zip up top, athletic top that I found, I think at TJ Maxx. And then my puffer coat, which I got from Shein. And then I'm wearing my kick-ass baseball cap. This is the look, I it's hard to see but I tucked in, or at least it's hard for me to see through the viewfinder, but I tucked in the front of my shirt just to kind of like give it something. I just kind of felt like it was, I don't know. But anyways, I really like this look and I'm gonna go ahead and go to Dollar Tree. I'll film some clips, but it's gonna be kind of like a quick trip because I have a lot that I need to do today. Today is like a pre-filming day. <clears throat> Did I say I wanted another one of these? I, th I think it was this one. This bag is so pretty. I'm back home. Um, sorry that I can't show too much of the kitchen. Most of you already know. It's because I'm redecorating and I'm waiting to post the reveal on my main channel. But um, it's going to be revealed Tuesday. So you guys are Monday's video so you don't have much longer. 
But anyways, I still wanted to show you guys what I picked up from the grocery store. As you can see, I went to Dollar Tree. And then I picked up this chicken fried rice. I've just been really like wanting fried rice. So I found this. I just kind of wish it was just the rice and not the chicken, but that's fine. I can just... And then I picked up this first... Or this this i've picked it up before and i really like it i just don't know if i'm gonna eat the shrimp but whatever it's actually really good with the shrimp um but i really love the rice on it so i got two of those y'all i have been trying to get this log going for a day and a half now and it just won't catch i don't know what's going on i've burned through so many of my little starter things um but anyways back to the hall because I had to turn the TV down. I got strawberries, my Chobani. I actually placed an order for my grocery pickup. I don't know if I told you guys, I think I did, I, yeah, I don't know where, but I, I ordered my groceries at the wrong Walmart. And so it was just kind of out of the way. So I just decided to cancel and then reorder my items for the Walmart that's by me. So I picked that up tomorrow, but I decided to pick up I decided to pick up my Greek yogurt, the Chobani, that one. And then they didn't have like my preferred granola, but I did order um, some from Walmart. So I picked up this one, the dark chocolate and red berries. It's pretty similar to the one I have. And then I also picked up this one, the maple almond butter granola. And then I got a huge thing of honey and then bananas, and then guacamole, my chips, and then just for fun, I picked up a little thing of these um, gummy bears. So, and that's the grocery haul. I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's probably getting close to 7 o'clock. And I've just kind of spent the day 
one I I was editing the kitchen decorate with me so you guys can actually see it finally now I have all this on the couch because Loki is shedding more so it's just getting the couch very dirty it still needs to get clean like those aren't on top of a clean couch I just didn't want them to get worse because I'm gonna do a clean of the couch but not right now here he is I thought I'd also give you guys an update I get a lot of like questions all the time about his training and just like information about him um he's four months old and he is clocking in at like 54 pounds which is insane <laughs> he's gonna be a big boy he had a very very fun day today so i took him for his morning walk he gets two walks one in the morning one at night and on the morning walk today we have like a dog park in our neighborhood and I was going by the dog park and there were two dogs in the dog space. And um, I think the owners were like, oh, he wants to come play. So I, so I decided to like go ahead and walk him some more, just kind of get his energy out because I wasn't sure how he would do with other dogs because he hasn't socialized with other dogs. Um, but he really couldn't because he didn't have all of his shots, you know, anything from like sniffing and like where dogs go. He couldn't do any of that. He could only basically like walk in the street until he got his final round of shots, which he did. He got them. He's got his rabies. So I thought, you know what? This would be a good time to socialize him. And he had a ball. He played with two boxers. They were so cute. And at first he was very unsure. He definitely was very timid, very shy, very scared. Um, and then he just kind of got the feel for it and he was, y'all, Loki had a ball. So uh, it was a great day for him. He was really tuckered out from his walk. And yeah. So anyways, the other thing that I've been doing is, oh, did I finish giving you guys, a, oh no, more updates. Sorry, I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. Um, I, I also get a lot of questions about training, which I'm not training him as hard as I was. I just, just been so busy with everything that's going on. Also, you're just going to keep looking at Loki because he's just a lot cuter than I am. But, um, I haven't been training him as hard and it's definitely showing you guys. I mean, he is just... He's out of control. I'm letting him roam free, which I really shouldn't. Loxy was just different. And I'm thinking he's going to kind of behave similarly in terms of, like, calmness. Um, he's very similar to her personality. Just, he has, he's a boy. So, he just has loads and loads of energy. And so, um... I've decided that I, I mean, I knew this anyway, like even when I was training him, I knew I was going to put him in professional dog training. So I have already scheduled like a um, evaluation. Basically, it's like where they see if he can go ahead. It's like a evaluation where they kind of like tell you to do things with the dog. So I'll be there and they see if he's ready for a class with other dogs in it or if he needs private training before getting in a class with other dogs in it basically so he's gonna get evaluated soon i'll let you guys know how that goes i'll try to record like what i can i really don't know how it goes but obviously because i'm gonna have to like pay attention to him you know because i'm gonna be doing the training with him this was the other thing that i was kind of like worried about I didn't want to do board and train with Loki because I was really afraid that it would change his personality. I didn't want him to come back overly like military, if you will. And maybe that doesn't happen, but it was just like a fear of mine. So, and I didn't want to be away from him. You know what I mean? I just didn't like that idea. So I found a different place um, where I will be going with him. We'll be going to like class together. So... Yeah, um, some of the things I want to train him on are obviously um, a lot of like key basics, you know, sitting on command. He does, but a problem is 
I've, this isn't good for training, but you shouldn't repeat yourself. If you repeat yourself, like let's say I tell him sit and he's not doing it and I keep telling him over and over, he's just learning that he can sit whenever he wants, you know, like he doesn't have to sit on the first command because you keep saying it over and over. So, um, so anyways, obviously sit, um, stay, which he does pretty well-ish. Um, not, he's not fully, like, done on it, to be honest. Um, heal, place, which place is key, too. And obviously, I want him to be good on walks and make sure, you know, that he's not going to, like, take off for bunnies, that I'm always going to be the most interesting thing to him on the walk. Um, but also, on the flip side... I also teeter on the edge where I just want the walk to be for him. I don't mind if he kind of pulls me. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's his walk. So I'm like in both places. I want I want to be safe with him on his walk, obviously. I don't want anything to happen to him or anyone else. Um, and I also don't want him to be like, right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, let him sniff. Let him, like, you know what I mean? Let him discover the world. That's kind of like where I am. Obviously, um, I also want to train him not to get on the couch. So just like to my commands and things like that. Look how cute. Oh, what a cutie. All right. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys. I'll just give you a quick tour of the kitchen, but the full video is up, but I can finally reveal it. Look, you guys, I've got curtains. Ah! They look so pretty. I still did not get those prints in, so if you watched the kitchen decorate with me, they were supposed to come in today. And this is the same day that, like, I finished filming everything, um, and the prints got delayed. So I'm glad I didn't wait. I'm glad I threw up the video. <coughs> Hopefully they get here tomorrow, and I'll show you guys. Because really, like, once I have the prints in, it will change the tone a little bit because those are like black and white and they're just they're just clashing with kind of what's going on but the curtains change the whole game if you ask me like the whole thing and a lot of you are probably going oh my god that's from your library on the wall but i'm changing up my library so and then i have another rug here so this is new as well have this one you can see the difference <laughs> this one's new <laughs> this one needs to be cleaned desperately I'm going to clean it because I have my carpet cleaner now. And I just have a picture there and that's pretty much all that is new. So now I'm gonna show you guys the library because it is a hot mess. I got a rug in, that's for the living room. The living room is gonna be the next, but you can see the chair, this is the same chair. I just took off the slip cover to wash it because Loki discovered that he likes to lick and chew on the slipcover. And you guys, he stained it so bad. He must have like come in from outside with like dirt in his mouth because it was just like brown. So I've I've had to wash this this one twice. I washed this one already. Luckily, all the stains came off of it. But here's what this space is looking like. It's a mess. Um I have plans to kind of redo this wall. Um, I'm keeping the bookshelves. I'm keeping two of the three. The third one, I'm going to move into the garage just in case I ever like want to pull it again. But one is going to get removed because it's not going to have room for it. I'm going to put something in between the two shelves. <clears throat> and then this love seat is going to go as well. Um, it just, yeah, it just doesn't work for me. I'm going to do chairs instead, and then I'm going to do a whole new wall. So that piece that was on the kitchen table used to be right there. All of this is coming down, and I'm going to do a whole new, new thing here. So that's a quick little description, I guess, of what I'm doing here. So I'm also going to be doing a new rug. I think that I want to do like an all-white rug. But that's probably a bad idea too, but like, listen. And then I'm also going to be doing this wall right here, which is going to be a gallery wall. I've already ordered the prints. They're getting shipped to me. I just have to work on the frames. And I want the frames to be just kind of like thrifted finds. So those could take a minute. 
but I have the entryway and the bathroom slotted for makeovers for February. So hopefully I have enough time to find the frames and the, the right sizes. Um, but yeah, and then this little space, by the way, is not gonna change. I love it, keeping it as is. If I do anything, I would probably change the wreath. I'm not a fan of that mint color. The other thing that I've been kind of prepping for, kind of, not really, is that we're gonna have uh, two days of freezing, like freezing temperatures. So, um, and I just kind of want to get the house ready so that on those days, I don't have to like run too much water. Like, you know, I'm getting my laundry done so I don't have to run it on those days. I need to clean this out because there's too much ash. So um, get that nice and ready for when I need to put some new logs on the fire. Of course, I'm watching Golden Girls. However, I feel like you always, you guys always see like things on repeat, but you don't ever see the times that I'm watching other things. I don't know why that is, but today I watched like Big Business. I watched Blank Check. I watched a lot of stuff on Disney Plus. I watched um, some stuff on Netflix that you guys have never like seen me watch before. So just letting you know, I watched other things. For my daughter, I'm gonna go ahead and take it upstairs. I really miss her. Kind of want her to come home. <laughs> um, but when she's here, I'm like, you gotta go, bro. Um, but yeah, so like what I'll also do, I guess while I'm up here, let's take this to her room first. Whenever I find like clothes, I just put them on her bed. So what I'm gonna do to prepare for the freeze, I'm gonna close the blinds up here. Just kind of trap the heat in as much as I can. I got my Walmart bins in. Close this. No, other way. I also still have Christmas presents because I was sick, like, during Christmas, so we never did our white elephant. I know, so sad. It's literally one of my favorite things that we do all year, and, you know, didn't want to get everybody else sick, so. Um, so that's that. I'll also close the blinds in the guest bedroom. And the craft room as well. Look who's waiting for me. He's just like Loxy in that way. No matter how dead asleep he is, if he knows I've moved, he will get up and come for me. 